actually pass over to uh, Mick. Do you want to just pass your microphone over so he well, can I'd be, be happy to come in at, no, no, at the come episode come end. Will you let no, me? No, no. Okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs> um, I suspect that if we titled this talk just something about taxation, the audience would be half or less of what it is. Um, it's thought to be a very boring subject. Um, but it's actually both an interesting and a very optimistic subject in Africa in particular, and I just want to say why. Now, I come from very much the same position that Jonathan articulated just now. I don't know whether aid is net a good thing or a bad thing, and in a sense, I don't think it matters that much because clearly the era of big aid that we've known it is slowly coming to an end and aid is changing. And as Jonathan said, I think we really need the development debate in this country not to be sort of so shy of talking about problems of aid dependence and weaning off aid dependence. Let's confront it centrally and say, you know, we've got 20 years. How are we going to make the best use of the next 20 years of aid? Hmm. And you know, to increase, improve the capacity of people like Alan and her organizations to raise revenue clearly would be a priority here. Now, the good news is that in Africa in particular, this is already going extremely well. You know, we're not actually talking about, you know, something we really need to do because history is moving very much in the right direction. Um, as Al Alan's described to you, let me just put it in a slightly different language. Over the last 10 years or so, there has emerged in much of the world, especially the poorer part of the world, a package of technologies for really improving the way that governments raise taxes. Mm. Now, there are many components to that package of technologies. Um, various uses of ICT is a central, as Alan described. The other central element is the idea of treating taxpayers as customers you know, rather than people for who are to be squeezed. And the potential of using those two things together is actually enormous. I mean, you can really change the world. And there are quite a number of countries uh, and tax administrations who've really changed that. I'm delighted Alan's here because she is really <laughs> an exemplar of, of, of leading this. But the really good news on this is that if you were to actually look around the world and see who are the, you know, is making great progress in using this package of technologies, Anglophone Africa comes out very high. You know, this is a really good news story out of Africa. Um, Latin America is actually doing quite well. South Asia, perversely, which is um, often thought to be the, you know, India, ba uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka has often in the past been the source of many sort of ideas and principles on development, turns out to be deeply laggard in the cases of tax collection and tax administration. It's actually archaic almost. So this is a good news story out of Africa, um, uh, but it could be an even better news story. Great. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I'm going to open it up to, to your comments and questions. I think we've got a lot on the table that's very 